Good morning. We're going to start with this new press conference ahead of the game tomorrow for the semi-finals of the Europa League uh, between Villarreal and Arsenal at the Arsenal Stadium. We have both English and uh, and Spanish press. There is a simultaneous interpreting service. Uh, you know, you can choose the English channel and you can listen to the English audio. As we normally do, we're going to start for, uh, for questions for our player today with Unai Emery. We have Manu Trigueros, one of the captains of the team. So we'll start with Manu. Hi, Manu. I wanted to ask you, since you're here, I listened to Arteta say uh, this morning that he hopes he can finish the game with 11 players. So I, I hope you, I guess you hope that they will uh, turn on the VAR this time, you know, after the penalty. Have you seen the play again? Uh, what do you expect? Do you think it was really a disadvantage for, for, for your team? Well, uh, we, we, we talked about that play last week. But I already, we already forgot about that. We are just preparing the game ahead, the game at hand. We have a favorable uh, result, but uh, like I said, we you know that was last week, and we wish all the time, all, all the luck in the world to the referee, of course, uh, tomorrow and the VAR, and I'm sure it's going to be a clean game in every sense. Hi, Manu. We have the Liverpool experience. You were there in that semi-final. We got to the second leg with a victory, also like a, a very narrow victory. And there, everything kind of got turned upside down. I think that sort of experience might be very, you know, very important for a player like you. Well, footballers uh, keep earning experience and, and, and living important games. Uh, you know, taking them into our, you know, to, into the sack, let's say. So le let's hope we don't live a situation like that again. We're playing another semi-final with a different English team with uh, with a lot of excitement. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. We know it's going to be a tough game. Uh, as uh, uh, Just as it, what happened to Liverpool, really, but we have really prepared the game really well for uh, to, to, in order to to try to avoid that to happen. Hi, Mano. Good morning. Which Arsenal do you expect to find tomorrow? They have a disadvantage tomorrow. They need to score. So, do you do you do you expect a very uh, strong team from the from the beginning? Well, we we expected something like that in the first leg. They have a high level, top level players, are very pacey up front. We know how they play. You know, we we. We saw uh, the, at the La Ceramica Stadium what kind of team they are. They are a great team. They are one of the great teams in the of the English league. We have to give a hundred percent in order to compete in, in a Europe Europa League semi final. So it's a great opportunity for us to 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 do something big. Hi. Good morning. Uh, there is a little bit of an advantage. You know, since you won in the first leg, uh, uh, a draw would be good for you, of course. Concentration can be key. So what what other keys do you think would you, that the game tomorrow will have in order to go through to the, to the final of the Europa League? Well, of course, concentration is key. Uh, this level, it's extremely important. If you lose concentration for a second, any team can get at you. So we have, we're going to try to score a goal. It's important to score when you know in an, on an away game. We have to keep possession, try to have to keep our personality, try to keep our personality with it, uh, at the, during the match, try to compete. So it's something that everyone is repeating. Uh, we have a lot of personality. You've had a lot of personality uh, away from home in every single game in Europe. You haven't lost a single game. And, and you've played really well in really complicated stadiums. So you need to be confident, to have a little bit of confidence in yourself because you have been of a super solid team away from home. 
and even in, even during the your, the domestic league. So, what do you think about that? Yes, we are. We have uh, been a solid team. We have. We are brave in order to keep our pressure up. Uh, is one of the experiences that we've uh, we've had in our team with with great players who have played in, in you know a lot of very demanding games before. So we know what the competition is about. We have worked every aspect of the team uh, in, in order to compete tomorrow. Manu, I understand that everyone agrees that despite the results in the in the in the first leg, we cannot really go out to defend. You know, so we have to be. Uh, you have to think that Arsenal could score at any minute, and well, of course, uh, they, they they play you know in the in their stadium at home. It's going to be very demanding, but this team is ready for everything. We're going to try and look for the opponent's goal. Like I said, we'll try to keep our essence. We're going to try to keep possession and trying to attack, trying to hurt the other team at every every moment. So that's coming. That's how we're going to face this uh, super important game tomorrow. How are you? How are how is the dressing room? This this uh, team has played many, quite a lot of semi-finals. You you have played them too. What's the feeling inside the dressing room? Well, we 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 are all, all a family here. When you are so close to getting to a, a to something like this game, we face it with a lot of excitement for us, for everybody around us, our families, our fans. Uh, people who, who work within the club. It's a very important moment for everyone. It's a day tomorrow. It's going to be a very exciting day for all of us, of course. Any more questions from Manu? Thank you very much, Manu. We move on now to questions for Unai Emery. Javi. Xavi Cidro. Hola, Unai. ¿Qué tal? Hello, Unai. First things first, how is, how, what's the feeling in the dressing room? You know, you have a lot of experience in this competition. You know what it is to play different semifinals, of course. Do you have good vibes uh, ahead of the game tomorrow? Well, we are at a very beautiful moment. It's a very, very beautiful moment for us. We have we've been working throughout the year, uh, structural level. Uh, we we're trying to build on confidence, uh, results, and objectives in different competitions, etc. And in the Europa League, we've been we've had a, quite a solid path uh, so far, showing quite a lot of maturity. We have been facing the different uh, rounds, again, with solidity and regularity. And we're facing the game tomorrow in the same, along the same lines. You know, we're going to keep building on what we did in the first 90 minutes. We, we you know, we are ahead 2-1, but that doesn't change the positions of both of teams at all. You know, in an important way, let's say. You know, so we're talking about minimum details here. We again, we're going to try to build on uh, the previous on on the first leg with the players that we have available, but and they have available, of course, and we'll try to enjoy this process, this path, this way. Those ninety minutes waiting for us there. We're going to try to be ready for whatever comes. At, you know, if if we have an extra t extra time or penalties or whatever. Is anyone right now? Oh, well, I, I wanted to say if anyone is experienced in this competition, that's you. Is there a recipe? Is there a magic, you know, potion? Or do you, do you like talking about enjoying and talking about the process, etc.? The process has been immaculate. So, what now? You know, it's, it's all or nothing now. Yes, it's true. And as for experience, as far as experience is concerned, you know. Uh, uh, all, all I know is the, the, the end is uh, ephemeral. Uh, what's really nice is to go along the whole way, 
like the key uh, way, the key moments in certain uh, ties, the key moments in certain matches in which you could have, you know, achieved what you wanted or not, uh, knowing how to suffer uh, or losing to a superior uh, opponent, etc. So that's it's a whole of a process, and that's what we are living now, and this is what I value the most. Uh, from you know after that we are top playing a historic team it's a top level club in every dimension and we are playing with a most a more recent history but also uh, we deserve our bit of uh, um, you know acknowledgement and having the security of being in a club with a solid structure in order to compete against this kind of team we have experienced uh, mature players and when you face a player like a team like this, who are still the favourites, we are still sort of uh, the can, you know the underdogs. So, but after ninety minutes, we've been able to give some value or bring some value to the table again against such a big team. We are facing this second leg with maximum respect for Arsenal, with maximum respect for the Europa League, and especially with a lot of excitement at an individual and collective level. And uh, so everyone in the club is excited about you know making uh, achieving the goal when that, that we had when we started hi you know i wanted to ask you with the two players that you cannot really count on uh, you spoke about it after the uh, the, la the last uh, uh, league match do you know who are going to replace Foyth and capu well a season is not uh, Well, you cannot really forget what happens throughout the season, you know, with such intensity and so little time to recover. You know, there are injuries, long-term injuries, short-term injuries. There are always risks. And you, thanks to that, I mean, you, you always think of different players, different alternatives to play. And we know that we have players that can show different amounts of uh, performance and we know we can play different players in different positions. We are not going to think of the players who aren't here, but we're going to try to reinforce the players that we have here. No, they, I think they can still show per their personality, be competitive, which is something that is going to be very important. So this is not the time to to think about what happened and and or think of somebody that you're going you're not going to be able to play tomorrow. Second leg tomorrow at Arsenal Stadium at the Emirates Stadium. What kind of game do you expect? You know, very similar to the first uh, leg or not? What do you think that's going to happen? Well, when I analyze our, our opponents, the first thing I do is to find the best of them, try to identify that and try to prepare against the best they can uh, they can do against us. And then we can compete against that and bring um, find out what our virtues are against that. So they have a very solid uh, structure. They are they're good with the passing game, good combination. They have technical, really skilled, really pacey players. Aubameyang, they re, they are going to we're going to see Aubameyang tomorrow, who's a very important player for them. So we expect to see the best Arsenal in, in terms of uh, at a collective level and at an individual level. So from there, we're going to try to build on our idea, our footballers, our the moment, our excitement, and try to, to face that game with a feeling of of, of, of playing and try to play our game to, to keep being what we are and, and, and focus, really. And we know we at certain times we might have to suffer, of course, their, their abilities. And we will try to help each other in defense, etc. And we have to, you know, within our possibilities, we'll try and control the match as much as we can and try to look at their goal. Not, you know, it's really building on what happens on the first leg. I expect an extra something from Arsenal, of course, and we have to be able to face that. Gary Jacob, The Times. Can you, can you tell us 
what it's going to feel like to go back to the Emirates and and actually go to walk in there after all, 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 like what's been a year and a half and your feelings when you when you see people there. Los sentimientos siempre se quedan en el corazón. Feelings are always inside your heart. There's good moments, bad moments. And from there, there's a lot of affection that I received from a lot of people, internally, externally. Then the football depends on results and other circumstances as well. So, so sometimes you have to, people make decisions. And there were certain decisions that resulted in me going out. But, oh, you know, I'm going back with a lot of excitement about Villarreal, going back to a stadium which is a magnificent, beautiful stadium. It, it, it is true that there are no fans. It will be much nicer to see the fans there to oh, in order to see what Arsenal is and, and, and what Arsenal can, you know. The, the, but within my my compromise, my work, and etc., and the huge responsibility I have with Villarreal, I'm really grateful with to Villarreal. I was really grateful to, to uh, Arsenal back then. I'm really grateful to Villarreal now, and I hope that I can enjoy a beautiful game I'm um, show. I hope we can show what we are as a team, as a club, knowing that this Fernando Roch project, uh, how how important it is, and we need to break that barrier of the semi-finals. Try and get even more credibility. Try to position ourselves at a at a uh, at a European level, and and we have to take it step by step. We have a big opportunity tomorrow, and that is above every feeling, you know. So all my feelings are going to be focused towards Villarreal before what it uh, as to what it represents for the club, and and to try and live and enjoy it to the max. Hi, Una. Irwin, the son. Hello, uh, hello Una. Just a quickie. Um, there's been a lot of talk about the Super League and all the, the consequences. How important is it for a club like Villarreal from outside the Super League to be in a European final rather than having all, all the big teams in the finals this year? Well, uh... Well, we have, everyone has their job. My job is meaning a manager. There is a lot of things about the Super League that I don't know, but what I have to think, uh, what I think is everything has to be based on merits. I worked with uh, with uh, uh, Real Sociedad, who was champions ages ago, Deportivo de la Coruña, Athletic Bilbao, who won the league, etc., etc., so if those teams who won the league in the domestic league and and who played the 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 the, the European Cup back then you cannot really take that away from them you cannot really take the merit they have those players those clubs those fans they cannot take it away from them so uh, football has been re they trying to redrive football somewhere else but football belongs to the fans to the streets there's a huge business around football we know that it is necessary of course but football belongs to the fans so i grew up in a club in my hometown on Daribia, uh, I lived at Real Sociedad, you know, a hundred years ago, or clubs that won the cup a hundred years ago, etc., etc. And I want the, that football to keep going. James Solly, ESPN. Hello, Unai. Um, the Arsenal team tomorrow will include Granite Xhaka. Um, it did appear when he confronted the Arsenal supporters and lost the captaincy that his Arsenal career would, would be over. Um, could you just talk a little bit about how difficult that incident was for you to manage at the time and your reaction to how he's turned things around since? Well, your experience that I had with Granit... My experience with Granite in a year and a half was total knowledge to the person, total uh, knowledge to the footballer. He deserves being in a club like Arsenal and he deserves the respect of the people. I did it 
I, I did it back then and I do it now. He's, a, he's an extraordinary footballer he, and he is a, a, a doubly uh, extraordinary, uh, uh, doubles, well, how extraordinary he is, a doubly extraordinary person, let's say. So I'm really glad that he's enjoying at Arsenal and Arsenal are enjoying him because of the compromise of the commitment he has with, uh, sorry, the commitment he has for with Arsenal. He had it before me. He had it with Arsene, he had it with me, and I can see it with Arteta. You can see it on the pinch, on the pitch, and you can see it in how he plays. And I have a lot of respect for him, a lot of admiration for him. Mark Mann. Hi, Unai. Um, uh, Pierre Mikabamiang scored a hat trick in a Europa League semi. I wonder, young Mathieu. Uh, second leg when you were in charge of Arsenal um, and he's fit to play tomorrow. How do you stop Aubameyang and is he still one of the best strikers in Europe? Aubameyang is a killer. He was, he is and he will always be. He's been through a process of being out of the team because of the illness he had but he's back. Aubameyang is the He's there to work, to defend the team, give everything for the team, and hoping he can perform at top level for the team. And and in that, uh, if when that happens, it's going to be very difficult to stop. We expect to find the first, the, the best Aubameyang possible. The same with Granit Xhaka. I think he's a, a great person, and behind that great person, a, a, a really great footballer. I think he was one of the top scorers of the Premier League when I was there, or the top top scorer. He's uh, he's had a he's shown a great performance. Who is a, a portent, a portent physically? He's really good physically. He's a killer, like I said. Daily Mirror. John Cross. Uh, hello, Unai. I, I was just going to ask you um, uh, about the. Uh, you said that Arsenal are favourites uh, earlier. Why do you, why do you make that assessment? You, you seem to dominate the game, um, uh, you know, so well. And and also, just how much satisfaction would it would it give you if you can knock out you, you, you know your former club and one of one of the favourites for this tournament? Well, I consider the first leg's result does not change how I see the, the, the initial competition. Uh, Arsenal started as a favourite and they are still favourites at this stage. We are candidates in order to um, uh, be able to play uh, against this kind of teams. And try to compete against this kind of uh, teams, those favourite teams. But the, 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 the first leg results was is really narrow to make anything change. Why? Because of history, because of their presence, because of the ability and the level from from the you know from the budget to 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 the players that they have in their squad, etc. I I consider them as favourites. We are the underdogs, but uh, I think we have uh, the, our team has been acknowledged in, in in Europe. We have certain recognition. We have been showing our level in Europe uh, for years. We've been we've been uh, we've played a semi final of the of the uh, Champions League, etc. We are a solid team with an ability to reach this these heights. But uh, I now think that Arsenal, in that respect, is uh, one or two notches on top of us in that. I wanted to ask you, I, I thought, I, I guess you spoke to your players and other, and other people. Uh, Casola said yesterday that whenever you're in a, sitting on a bench in Europe, your opponent should be worried. And what do you say? to the fans in order to try to calm them down maybe or, or maybe to be a little less euphoric what do you tell the fans what do you tell the people the, the, the whole city is, is is thrilled about the team thrilled about tomorrow what can you tell them the day before 
it's going to be a very complicated game, but we are ready to play a top difficulty game. We the top difficulty game. We want to enjoy that. We have to translate to 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 want to receive that excitement from the fans, and we get, want to give it back at them. We're going to play with pride. We're going to play knowing that defend. We are defending a very beautiful history of uh, that Villarreal has. That uh, a town that is well known throughout Europe now, and the moment of uh, going, being able to going through to a semi, uh, through uh, to a final, is a great opportunity for us. We're going to play that game with uh, all of our potential, our desire, our excitement. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone.